Good evening, guys. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, Christopher and everybody. How was your day? Good day? Did you have a good day? Ah, uh, un poco cansado. Tiding. It was tiding. Tiding. Okay, or stressful. Five of ten. You're fine. Okay. Good, guys. Welcome Sin to your class. Today we are going to practice a little bit about writing, reading, vocabulary. So in a moment, you will see the class presentation I'm going to share. Hey, Cecilia. Good, so this is class 15. We have Monday, July 17, 2023. Well, actually, it's class 14 because last Friday we had a problem with the internet connection and the electricity. Así que prácticamente esta sería la clase 14, class 14, because we're going to have class tomorrow and Wednesday. Vamos a tener clase mañana, que hubiera sido la última, pero por el problema que tuvimos el viernes de la electricidad, el problema que tuve yo de la electricidad, eh, la clase la vamos a reponer el miércoles. Entonces, este miércoles sería nuestra última clase. Terminamos el miércoles. Ok, lo digo en español para que todos estemos claros y entendidos. Ok, ¿sí? O sea que jueves iniciaríamos con el otro módulo ya. Probablemente o el próximo lunes. No sé qué información les han dado. y les van a estar informando. Bueno, y con, la con lo que era del 80% como mínimo. Correcto, si usted cumplió con todos los requisitos, eh, haber, ter haber terminado las cinco secciones y el examen final, las tareas con más del 80%, haber asistido más del 80% de a las clases, entonces tiene derecho a poder continuar en el siguiente curso. Se les va a estar informando eh, cuando empezarían, ¿verdad? Si, si también envió los documentos a tiempo. Y si, este, sí, eso, ¿verdad? Si envió los documentos a tiempo y se reinscribió. No sé si todos se llenaron la ficha de reinscripción. Sí, lo mandamos yo, pero no sé, no me contestaron un correo. La que mandaron en línea es. Sí, pero se tenía que escanear y mandarla también. Ah, ok. En un correo electrónico, sí. Era bueno, igual. La primera sí. con la que Ajá. ¿Sí, Jorge? Sí. Estamos ready. Ok, si sí, lo envió al correo que se le solicitó, excelente. Eh, sí, eso, ¿verdad? Y se le va a estar notificando. Si sí, quizás usted envió, el, envió los documentos y quizás a veces eh, no se le toma bien, ¿verdad? O el escáner y le dicen, tiene que hacerlo otra vez, tiene que hacerlo pronto, porque si no, va, le va a tocar esperar hasta el siguiente curso, hasta que sus papeles estén bien. Y esto tal vez dicen, ay, ¿por qué me lo piden? Así, pero es, son cuestiones de insaport. Okay, son cuestiones de Insafor, no, no solamente de inglés corporativo. ¿Ok? Teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, a mí me mandaron esa información y yo mandé los primeros datos, los que tenía. Bueno, llené los datos que pide virtualmente, ¿verdad? Sí. Y según yo había mandado la, 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 la información que piden ya así en fotos, pero no, y entonces no sé. Yo creí que sí, hasta ahorita voy dando cuenta de que no, y no sé si, yo creo que ya no se puede, ¿verdad? Bueno, ma, escriba a la persona que, que se comunica con usted, no, no sé quién se comunica con usted, si Andy o, o Flor. Eh, no recuerdo, yo creo que sí es Andy, porque creo que sí es un hombre. Vaya, lo que puede hacer es 
escribirle, decirle que no lo, que, que se le olvidó enviarlos, que los va a enviar para que lo reinscriban para el siguiente curso. O sea, okay. eh, puede que espere un mes. Sí, sí, es que la verdad es que como durante el día lo llené y a mí se me olvidó por completo. Y ahí tengo la hoja llena, pero no le mandé la foto. Sí, por eso es importante hacerlo cuando mandan el mensaje o antes, sí. lo más pronto posible, porque si no uno se le va. Igual sí. los comprobantes de haber recibido el manual, el comprobante de, sí, es verdad, de haber recibido el manual y de llenar la ficha de inscripción y enviar los documentos del DUI. Uh -huh. Así que eso, todo eso es muy importante para que usted pueda continuar. ¿Ok? Bueno, gracias, Isha. Well, after that commercial, that information, <laughs> we are going to start the class. Um, we're going to go over this. Stop the bus. I need you to copy in your notebook this table. Copy in your notebook this table uh, with these columns. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. Ocho columnas, eight columns. Una, una tabla. Un cuadro with eight columns, con ocho columnas. In each column, you will write letter, name, country, object, food, verb, occupation, and total. So these are different categories. And we have studied these in the class. We have studied, well, in one class, maybe we study the countries, object, food, verb, occupation. Le hemos visto así, ¿verdad? Más o menos un poco de todo. So we are going to review the vocabulary. Vamos a repasar el vocabulario. We are going to review the vocabulary. So please write in this moment, copy. Copy in your notebook the table. Good evening, I'm ready. Good evening, Fernando. Okay, who else is ready? Listos? Todavía les falta escribir. Pere, pere, pere. And now, almost ready. Yes, teacher. Okay. Have you played Stop the Bus before, maybe in Spanish when you were in the school? Have you played this game before? It's Bachillerato Stop. Yes, Bachillerato <laughs> Stop. Yes, that's the name in Spanish. In English is stop the bus. Okay, the instruction. You are going to write a word according to the category that starts with the letter that we select, the letter that we choose. For example, we have the letter A in my example. 
the name with A, with the letter A, Alison. The country, Argentina. The object, airplane. The food, apple. The verb, arrive. The occupation, accountant. So all the words in each category starts with that letter. Got it? Ok, van a escribir una palabra de cada categoría que empiece con la letra que escojamos. My example is with the letter A. But we are going it, to choose another letter and you are going to start writing. When you finish all the categories, you can say, stop the bus. And the others, stop writing. Los demás paran de escribir, ok? And got then, it. sure. Yes, Fernando? I got it. Okay, great. Uh, do you have any questions before we start? Any question before we start the game? Alguna pregunta de, de que empecemos? No, yes, teacher. No, teacher. No, so, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering. Um, I think that we can that we can write with the letter. I think this is an easy letter. Letter B. As in baby. Okay? Letter B. It's here. B as in baby. Okay? So you're gonna start writing. Remember, when you finish, you have to say, stop the bus. When you finish, you have to say, stop the bus. Stop the bus. Okay, stop Fernando bus. says, stop the bus. Okay, everybody, please stop. Three, two, one. I trust in you guys. I trust in your honesty. <laughs> okay, good. Um, what do you have for names? What names do you have? Briseida. Brenda. Mm -hmm. Brandon. Balmore. Baltasar. Bonnie. Sorry, guys. I think only one person can say it. Berlin. No, it's okay. Very good. So um, I can see that you don't repeat. That's great. You don't repeat. Very good. Country. Remember, if somebody else 
has the same word as you, five points. Belize. If it's not repeated, 10 points. Si no se repite, 10 points. If it's repeated, five points. Okay? Country. Country here, hey, Belize. Belize. Brazil. Bolivia. Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Belgica. Belgium. 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 Uh huh. Any other one? Belgium. 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 Belize. Belize. Object. Bus. Back. Bus. 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 Later. Later. Bus. Ball. A lot of things with letter B. Boat, yes, very nice. Food with letter B? Banana. Banana. Okay. Banana. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> Blueberry. Brownie. What about brownie? Burrito. Bread. Burrito. Burrito. Blueberry. Blueberry. Berries. Beans? Beans, yes. The food that we eat every day. <laughs> Beans. Okay, what about a verb? We let her be. Believe. 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 <laughs> okay, another verb. With no. Comprar, pero en, 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 en inglés, que es buy. O buy. Buy, buy. The verb to be? Be, buy. Uh, believe. What else? I, I write bro, blow. 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 And um, blessed. Que es bendecir. Oh, bless. Bless. Blend. Que es mezclar o licuar. Blend. Okay. Very good. Bite. Yes, that's another one. Good. And occupations will letter be? Ballet. Baker. Baker. Ballet dancer. Ballet dancer. I think Barber. Barber. Babysitter. Bartender. Yes. Bar exactly. Bartender. <laughs> okay. Good. Now we are going to choose another letter. Greek letter, yes, right. Okay, Fernando, you were the one who finished first. So you choose the next letter, Fernando. Yes. What letter do you want, Fernando? Letter M. Letter M. Okay, let's start with letter M. Thank 
Finish, Tichel. Start the bar. Start, Start the, the bar. bar. Okay. Start Name for letter M. Maria. Aha. Uh -huh. Other Melanie. name? Meli. Mari. Meli. Melissa. Marlon. Marlon. Marcela. Margot. Very good. Marlon. Okay, Mori. What about country with letter M? Mexico. Country, Morocco. Morocco, yeah. Madrid. Well, Madrid is a city. Mali. Madagascar. Mali, okay. What about objects? Mouse, the computer, Merchant. tablet, table, no, mesa, Malaysia, in English, ah, okay, mouse, Micro microwave. microwave, microwave, microphone, mailbox, oh, head, flower pop, can you remember, map, Apple. map, yes, map, Okay. Food? Object, I have mailbox. The mailbox, okay. Food with letter M. Melons. Meal. Macaroni and Melon, cheese. Melon, meal, macaroni. Mango. 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 <laughs> en español es manzana, pero se escribe con... No, es que the, the game is in English. <laughs> It's an English word with, with English words. Okay, and what about um, the verb letter M? Move. Meet. Move. Mount. Mount. Bake. Mount. Can you repeat? Mount, montar. Can you spell it, please? Julio, can you spell your verb? Yeah, mount de gemir. Mount, no sé cómo se Ah, mount. Like that? Any other? Mount. Members. Mount. Mount de montar. Move, teacher, move. Yes, it's there, move. Okay, Francisco, monitor, yes. Occupation. Mechanic. Mechanic. Machine assistant. Machine Military. Assistant. Military teacher. Ah, uh, that is army in the army. Right. 
Mechanic. Machine assistant. Mm, any other? Yes. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I have one math teacher. <laughs> math teacher. No more, that thing. Maintenance, the mission. Maintains operator. Music teacher. <laughs> Manager. Musician. Yes, we have with it right here. Okay, thank you so much for playing. Thank you for participating in this in this game, in this activity. Now, what are you going to do? You are going to create a story. We, you first, you choose one letter, the letter B or the letter M. And you are going to create a story with those letters. Okay, this is my example. Alison is from Argentina. She's 25 years old and she is an accountant. She is arriving to El Salvador at 2 p.m. to visit. She's traveling by air. She likes apple pie with coffee. We're going to have coffee together this afternoon. This is my story, and I'm using all the words, Alison, Argentina, accountant, the verb arriving, airplane, and apple. So you have to choose, every, every person individually choose the letter A, the letter B, or the letter M, you use the words that you wrote, usan todas las palabras que escribieron, to make a story, okay? So you will have five minutes to, uh, to write the story. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Thank 
Pass. Did you finish your story? Okay, maybe while you finish your last ideas, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? We are going to start with Aleida Marilyn Gomez. Alvin de Jesus Cuchilla. Present. Ana Marisela Vázquez. Ana Silvia Joachim. Present. Angie Ivette Romero. Angie Ives, Cecilia Verónica Hernández. Present. Present. Escuché a dos present. Angie. Ok, ya. Yeah. Present, Cecilia, que estoy. Thank you, Cecilia. En Angie. Christopher Gochis. Hi, present. Hello. Eh, Claudia Clímaco. Claudia Clímaco. Dania Larisa Romero. Dania Larisa. David Ernesto Tolosa. Denise Rosalí Hernández. Present. Edward Steven Pérez. Present. Emily Azucena Ramos. Present. Thank you, Emily. Emanuel Eliseo de León Cigüenza. Fernando Enrique López. Present. 
Thank you. Francisco Cortés. Present. Gabriela María Reyes. Glenda Karina Baños. Present. Hacel Beatriz Abarca. Present. Jacqueline Janet Guzmán. Jacqueline Janet. Jennifer Ivonne Pérez. Present. Jorge Arquímedes Beltrán. Jorge Beltrán. Jorge Martínez. Present. José Adalberto López. Jocelyn Esmeralda Rosales. Jocelyn Esmeralda, Julio César Reyes Cruz. Present, Miss. Okay. Julio Ernesto Echeverría Pineda. Present, teacher. Julio, Carla Elizabeth Navarro. Present, teacher. En Carla Lucía Rosa. Ok. Thank you for connecting to the class, guys. Very good. So I would like to listen to some of you reading your stories. You, the students always have a great creativity, a great imagination. So I would like to hear your story. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Karina. Okay. Uh, this is my friend Baltasar. He's from Belize, but he lives in Mexico right now. He's working in the school bus. He's like eat bananas every morning before work because he believes it's healthy. His dream of being a baker. He dreams to be a baker. Oh, Karina, that's a nice story, okay? So, Baltasar lives in Mexico. Or in right now, yes. He, he, he lives in Mexico, but he's from Belize. Yes. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Karina. Any other story? Thank you. Emily, did you finish your story, Emily? Todavía no, me falta un poquito. But you can say what you have. Hasta donde lo tenga, it's okay. Brenda is from Brazil. She's 30 years old and she's a baker. She's blowing out the clean candles on her cake because today is her birthday and her friend gave her a, a bag with a picture of a banana <laughs> on it. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit crazy story, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Okay, I will. I would like to listen to another story. Participation in class. Hazel Beatriz, did you finish your story? No, todavía no. No yet. No yet. Edward Steven. Yo, no. oh, yes, ah, este, yo entendí mal y pensé que era de lo que la imagen que había puesto más o menos hace lo mismo. Ah, ok, don't worry. Jennifer, ¿y vos? Yo, yo lo hice como, 
Le traduzco lo que he hecho. Eh, ajá. O bueno, lo que he hecho prácticamente. In English. Ajá. Ok, Steven. Este, María es from Mexico, she is 21 years old, and she is a mechanic, mechan, mechanic, mechanic, she, mechanic, uh -huh. she is arriving in the next station, she's arriving at 3 p.m. to visit me, a la is banana, a la you favorite is banana, y hasta ahí. Okay, Steven, but you try and it was good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Jennifer Yvonne and then Francisco Cortez. Brian is from Bolivia. He is 40 years old and he is a baker. He is baking a blueberry cake with a big chocolate bouquet. Wow, thank you, Jennifer Yvonne. Yeah, I just, I feel like wishing a piece of blueberry pie. <laughs> Francisco, would you like to share? Eh, no sé si ya lo entendí mal, pero verdad que teníamos como crear nosotros como una historia, ¿verdad? Yes, that's correct. Bueno, ah, pues, le voy a decir la mía, es, Mauricio comes from Madagascar to El Salvador to monitor his computer signs before arrive he bought a melon soap and takes a um, the to shame creo que si se dice when that no longer works then he went to visit a big player at 3 p.m. 3 o'clock p.m. he's a uh, friend of his to see the progress of high school house. Okay, Francisco, thank yeah. you for your story. If, if it's possible, guys, you can send the story to, to the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. And Cecilia- I would like was, to do it. I would like to send to send a picture, but my letter is very ugly because I write very fast. Okay, Fernando, don't worry. Uh, okay, by order, Cecilia. Eh, sí, yo las hice cortitas porque no completé todas las palabras. That's okay. Go ahead. Pero hice dos. Okay. Eh, okay. Brandon is from Brazil. He's uh, 20 years old. And he is a bartender. He is eating banana. He's eating a banana. Okay. Mary is from Mexico. Yes, she is years old. And she is mechanic. She is um, buying melons. She's buying melons. Okay. And she's a mechanic. Okay. Great, Cecilia. Julio Cesar. <laughs> Okay, Miss um, Marcela. Marcela, um, she is my friend who lives in Mali. Uh, she has traveled to El Salvador to visit me. Um, I seen her ledger. She accidentally broke the mouse computer. Uh, she really likes coconut milk and chocolate chips uh, cookies. She's a river at 5 p.m. and the El Salvador airport. She's work a dentist. She works as a dentist. Okay, thank you, Julio Cesar, for your story too. Okay, thank you so much for all who participated. Now, guys, we are going to have a reading exercise. It's a story about a rainy Saturday, okay? So I'm going to read the story for you, but please pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? So okay. follow, the, follow the, the text with me. It's a rainy Saturday. 
It's raining a lot and Mary and her family are spending the afternoon at home. Her uncles are visiting them. Mary and her father are in the living room. Mary is making a draw and her father, Mr. Harris, is surfing the net. They are also talking. Mary's older brother, Peter, is in his bedroom playing computer games. He is a computer fanatic and he spends much, much time playing on the computer. His little brother, Jim, is also in the living room. He is playing with his dinosaurs collection. Sometimes he teases Mary. He's a really naughty boy. Mary's mother, Mrs. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. She's making some tea and talking to Mary's uncles, Lucy and Tom. They are from the nearest town and stop by to say hello. Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen on the kitchen sofa. We can see him in the picture, but he is a true fluffy cat. Yes, that's the story. Okay, first I need you to identify the new words. New words for you? Uh -huh. Palabras nuevas, new words for you. No saben, todas las se las saben. No hay palabras nuevas. Sí. Sí. Yeah, yeah, yes, miss. For example. For example, um, raining. Raining or rainy. Um, raining. Raining. Yeah. Raining. Okay. Raining. Raining. And raining. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Raining es el adjetivo. Lluvioso. Raining es el verbo. Es, it's raining. Está lloviendo. A lot. ¿Qué significa a lot? It's raining mucho, mucho. A lot. Mucho. Está lloviendo mucho o un montón. It's raining a lot. And Mary and her family are? Yeah. Eh, ¿Qué significa spending? spending? Spending the afternoon at home. Pasando la tarde. Very good, Fernando. Spending the afternoon. Okay. Uh -huh. Uncles? Her yeah. uncles. Con sus tíos. Okay, ¿se la saben? Sí. No. No, it's new word. Uncle tíos. Tíos. Uncle tío, okay? okay? Living room, si se la saben, ¿verdad? Living room. Yeah. Yes. Draw. Okay, a draw. It's making a draw. Está haciendo sí. un dibujo. Draw. ¿Cómo? Draw dibujo. Ah, okay. Mary is making a Net. draw. Ma Mary está haciendo un dibujo. Mary is making a draw. Mr. Harris is surfing the net. The net. Net. Como yes. internet. Internet. La red. Internet. Ah, OK. Surfista en la línea. Está navegando en la red. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ajá. También one? están hablando. They are also talking. Yes, talking. Teacher, I have a new word. Yes. Thesis. Thesis. Sometimes yeah, what it, it teases, what? Mary. Thesis is molestar. Como bromear así de molestar. He teases, Mary. Sí. Oh, it's a new word for me. Mm -hmm. Now, naughty boy. Naughty boy. Naughty. Naughty. Como un chico molesto. Travieso. Kitchen. Miss. En la cocina. In the kitchen. Preparing a snack. Ah, ok. Snack. Un refrigerio. Near, nearest. The nearest town. 
El pueblo más cercano. They are from the nearest town. Son, ellos son del pueblo más cercano. And stop by. Pararon para... Pa, sí, sí, Fernando. Pararon para decir hola o para saludar. ¿Ok? Lu, fluffy. 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 Sí. Ah, it's, it's the cat. Yes, but these cats are very fluffy, like... Yes. Show me a picture. I think it's better if I show you a picture of a fluffy cat because I, I love the pictures of fluffy cats. Okay, spend. Alguien pregunta qué significa spend. Depende del contexto. Puede ser. Dedicar tiempo, pasar tiempo, gastar dinero. So you can see the fluffy cat here. Fluffy? Right? Fluffy cat. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at this. Very fluffy. <laughs> They just look very cute, right? So fluffy is a fluffy cat, right? And what is the what is fluffy doing in the story? Sleeping. Sleeping, yeah. Sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but cats are very funny when they sleep. Because my cat is really funny just with a, with her positions. Okay, now let's let's answer the questions. Question number one. What day of the week is it? What day of the week is it? Do you remember the day of the week? Saturday. It's Saturday. Very good, Jennifer. Where is Mary? Mary is? <coughs> Where is Mary? Ah, let's go back to the story. It's a rainy Saturday. It's raining a lot and Mary and her family are spending the afternoon at home. Mary and her father are in the living room. So where is Mary? Making. In the sala. In the living room. In the living room. Okay. What is she doing? Do She's making. Uh -huh. She's making a draw. Okay. Yes, she's making a draw. Very nice. What is Mr. Harris doing? He's uh, surfing in the net. He's surfing the net, right? With the, maybe with the cell phone or the computer, or no. Is Mrs. Harris preparing a snack in the kitchen? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. What is Fluffy the cat doing? It's sleeping. It's sleeping, yes. Very nice, good memory. You have a good memory, guys. Excellent. Did you like the story of the rainy Saturday? Yes. It's easy, right? And this is why it's very important to read stories in English or to read in English, well, anything that you can read. Because when you read, you can learn new vocabulary and you can see how the words are, you, are used and you can see the grammar structure. So my suggestion is that you can read in English. Que lean en inglés mucho. Pueden buscar en internet. Ustedes están en nivel principiante, beginner. Pueden poner texts or readings for beginners. Y ahí le van a aparecer muchos sitios donde pueden leer en inglés para, en su caso, que es beginner, principiante. Okay, we have here a conversation. I know we only have a couple of minutes to finish, but I would like to volunteers to read the conversation. 
pero que lo lean así como conversación, ¿ok? Me. Ok, Fernando, and we need another person. ¿Quién más? Me. En Karina, ok, please. Light, camera, action. Hey, how are you today, Pam? Hi, Eva. I'm fine. Thanks. What are you doing? I'm sitting off the couch watching a movie. It's great. Look you. I'm writing a report. It's for my job. Oh, really? Are you at your office? Yeah. My friend Letty is making a, a coffee. She's helping me with the report. Cool. I'm, oh wait, my cell phone is reading. Be right back. Sorry, it's my friend Paul. He's making lunch. Right, I had to go, Eva. I had to go, I had to go, Eva. Sorry, my boss is calling me. Okay, good luck with the report. Have a good evening. Thanks, Eva. Enjoy your movie. Great, excellent job, Karina and Fernando. Pronunciation was great. Okay, so the conversation is about Eva and Pom. They are not talking on the phone, they are texting, right? They are texting. Good, now let's answer some questions. Who is doing this thing? Who is... For example, watching a movie, Pam or Eva? Eva is watching a movie. Let's see. Eva says, I'm sitting on the couch watching a movie and it's great. You are right. So it's, who is watching a movie? Eva, right? Who is visiting friends? Eva. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Let's see. Okay, Pam is writing a report working. Yes, yeah, so Eva is uh visiting his friends in another country who is working in the office pam who is making coffee lady lady, lady yes who is calling eva on her cell phone paul paul and who is calling Pam? Pam Boss. Pam's Boss. Yes, very good, excellent. Okay, now guys, it's 10 with one minute. So we don't have time to do this activity, but we are going to do it tomorrow. Um, in this, in this image, we are going to see what's wrong with this picture, okay? But we are going to do it tomorrow in the class. And also tomorrow, we are going to have some listening exercise and some speaking role play. By the way, guys, um, eh, you have a conversation pending. Tienen una conversación pendiente. <laughs> a role play to present. Are you ready for that? Do you remember? I haven't forgotten. La conversación que tienen pendiente. Si la terminaron, todos están listos for for next class. Silence, total silence. <laughs> ok, 
qué me quiere decir eso. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I'm ready. You are ready with your group, Fernando. Uh, Hazel, you are in my club. Are you ready? Hazel, Alvin, and Julius Cesar. Oh, okay. Yes, I am ready. Okay, okay Julius Cesar. So be ready for tomorrow because we don't have more, more time right now, but tomorrow you will. Oh, okay. thank you, teacher. Perfect. We have time to practice. And just tell me, what did you learn in this class? I learned in two new words. Mm -hmm. Which ones? Uh, this and fluffy. Fluffy, yes. And this is a verb. This. When you make a joke, you can say, I'm teasing you. Okay? Te estoy molestando. I'm teasing. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. And another new word? Yeah, I learned in new, new words. For example? Yeah, Julia? And surfing net. Surfing the net. Yeah, um, yeah, um, Onko. Mali. Okay. Sabía que existía este país. <laughs> okay, very nice. Thank you for connecting to the class. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Tenemos clase mañana. We have class tomorrow and Wednesday. So, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good, good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good, good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye, guys.